As Bitcoin tests its all-time highs, HNT is testing a key resistance level that has been a major turning point four times in the recent past. If it is able to move through this level, we could see new all-time highs in the coming days. Let's take a look in today's video at the six hour and weekly time frames to see if HNT has what it takes to move higher or if this could be the local high for now. We'll also draw some very interesting similarities between the HNT price movement and Bitcoins. <music> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all are having a great day. Please make sure to like and subscribe on the way in to stay up to date in the latest Helium news and analysis. On the screen right now is actually Bitcoin as it pushes higher just above $63,000 a minute ago the highest level it has been since the previous all-time highs. On the radar today to see a full recovery of Bitcoin to its previous all-time highs, and we'll see where it goes from there. This is very important for the broader crypto narrative right now. We could see all other altcoins follow Bitcoin's lead in the coming weeks if it does retake its previous all-time high. Now, before we get into this h and price chart on the six hour, and on the weekly here, very interesting stuff happening here as well. Before I get into that, I want to mention that the Helium Minted Miner, there's a new release coming on October 23rd at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in the U.S. This drop is only for U.S. miners. UK and Canada miners will be available very shortly. I, am at, I believe early November there will be EU and Canada miners being available for purchase and immediate shipment just the way the US miners are. In the description below, you will find a link to the website. That is where you will have to go. There are only 7,000 gold spot miners and 1,000 regular black miners going to be available this Saturday morning. That is the link you have to follow. It will take you directly to the page to perch, to submit your order and purchase the miner. I imagine these are going to run out very quickly as we have seen in the previous release. It ran out in just under two hours which is just mind blowing, but set your calendars, set your bookmarks. That is where you have to go to try and get that miner. And I imagine the black one is going to run out much sooner as there are only a thousand units available right now. The gold spot has 7,000 units. So guys, if you wanna get your hands on one, maybe even worth considering an order that you have placed already and purchasing this one. As we know, since we've seen from the last drop, these are shipping right away, of course, Minted did mention that this drop is on a Saturday. The shipments will start on Monday as it is a weekend, but it is just good to know that they are going to be starting shipment that Monday. So guys, if we look at this chart here, very interesting stuff happening. We've been looking at this structure for quite a while now. This, these Fibonacci levels have been proven to be respected in this structure here. We can see the golden ratio. This was when we first noticed this structure and how it is respecting this golden ratio here, which is which in the original video I made, I mentioned how it is known as being a key reversal level, which it turns out it had been in this previous wick here. Came down but was caught much sooner than the than the actual than the previous local lows and began to rally higher up through this right back to this key key resistance level as we know we see this wick in the golden ratio we see this wick here and we see this wick here all getting rejected at those levels and h and t price moving down thereafter but this level here this right or just over 22 dollars has been a very very key support level it is not any specific fibonacci level but it has proven to be a reversal level somewhere with a huge amount of resistance in the past. We could see multiple touches. This was a large resistance. This is the first time it was noticed prior to reaching its all-time highs. It looks like there's another one in here. And then we can see the, these four very distinct moments here, here, almost more than four, but you can see them. They are very clear. This is a huge resistance, maybe the largest on the chart. We will see how it reacts. We are currently just under it. We were testing it just a few minutes ago. This is the six hour chart. So an hour ago, we got right up to it and we stayed there for just for, for a few minutes. And now we are retracing backwards. But this move is not over. This candle is not over. If we can move above this level, we will see where we go from there. I would imagine we would retest this golden pocket as we have with these wicks 
in the past and we have been rejected, but it is possible to re regain this level and move higher. If we look at the Bitcoin chart, we can see that this same structure, which is very similar time frame to the helium structure, has been re also respecting this golden ratio. However, it tested it once, got rejected, made its way there a second time, and that is when we just saw this giant green candle move higher and reignite this rally. So that could be what we see here on the HNT chart if we're able to make it back there and reignite this rally, move higher towards all time highs. The next level we would be looking at, I would imagine there would be some strong resistance right around the 786 level here around $24.51. Not only is it the 786 level, but we have also seen it act as resistance in the past on these big moves here. Now I also want to make note of this weekly time frame. This is the first time we're looking at the weekly time frame in this way, but I, I have heard a lot of things about people saying that HT is overbought and it's due for a major drawdown. If we if we really zoom out and get all the data, of course there is not a tremendous amount of data as HT is relatively new once you're looking at the weekly chart, but we are starting to really see our first structure on the weekly chart. And the weekly chart is incredibly powerful. It gives you a really good idea of what is happening long term. And it, I believe the best able to put what is happening into perspective. So if we look here back to even before the first giant rally and look where you look at this chart and doesn't look like much is happening here from the beginning from the lows of this area to this point here is probably around a 400 percent increase even though we don't see that reflected in the scale that is the case so i would not overlook this section here now we look there's probably about a 400 percent increase from this 70 cent level all the way up to all the way up to almost the two dollar level so between 300 and 400 percent increase here and then we saw the first major move higher to the 20s which was the biggest rally that h t has seen uh, and then of course we know that we came back down we retreated and then we made our previous high to 26. some people might consider these two structures totally separate on the weekly time frame i am going to consider these as the same movement the same structure it is normal to see these pullbacks and then this the rally ignite again so i'm considering this the same movement but the very important thing here is that the RSI. We can see that right before this, the biggest rally HNT has seen, we ha we were not anywhere near the oversold levels on the RSI chart. And if we look where we are right now, we are almost at the exact same levels. This six around sixty on the RSI. And if you look, once this rally started the RSI went into the overbought level zone and actually stayed there for a very good amount of time. Uh, it looks maybe like 10 weeks or something like that and it stayed there in the overbought zone so if we take what has happened in the past and we imagine that it is possible that it happens again or something similar happens to it again we can see the rsi become overbought again we are nowhere near those levels right now so i do not i do think it is very possible for a new major major rally to begin very shortly here for hnt this level is not a level that is completely overbought. It is it is very possible that we see this spike into the overbought zone. And like we've seen in the past, it could stay there for weeks and that could launch h and into the 50s perhaps. The only real price target I would consider right now for where we could end up on a next big rally is I would use this level here, the $33 that would be the level I'd be looking for if we did retake this previous all-time high and continued a new rally higher to new all-time highs. And of course, we can see here h and holding strong ground here at number 60 on the coin rake by market cap. We did see it retreat down to 63 briefly. It has since came back to the 60 spot, up 16% in the last seven days. Again, the next few hours are going to be very important for crypto and helium to see what Bitcoin does. As we look at it right now, we're around 62,600. So very, very interesting day we will have on our hands. Everybody stay tuned, put your helmets on, buckle your seatbelts. We'll see where we go from here. But that's all I have for today's video. Again, guys, please make sure to mark your calendars and bookmark that link below for the minted miner if you wanna get one. Orders are limited, they are going to sell out quickly. So 8 a.m. Pacific time in the U.S. on this Saturday, October 23rd is the time to get one. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please 
like and subscribe if you have not already. I really appreciate all of you being here. But just like that, this video is over. I'll see you next time. Thank you.